All right, I'm here with Jacob Cook today, uh, All-American candidate for NAI baseball. And uh, Jacob, how does that make you feel to be a candidate for just being All-American? Oh, you know, it's a good feeling. I didn't expect that coming into the season. I just wanted to work hard in the off season and just help my team win any way that I could. What are your uh, off season, I guess, workouts? What What is the main thing you you try to focus on in, that during the off season? Just building strength in the legs and stamina to carry me through the season because you, your body breaks down, and if you don't condition yourself for that, you could risk injury and fatigue. So really, I just try and strengthen my whole body and work yeah. on my mechanics. Yeah, and I see that uh, that you have a couple of complete game shutouts. You have five in your career, so I mean that's that's good to have the stamina to be able to go all nine innings at a game and uh, keep your pitch count down. That, that's really good. Uh, you are recently uh, about to get married. You and your fiance. You just asked your fiance to marry you. I mean, how does, what are your future plans with her? What are um, what are you what are you thinking about with that? Right now, I'm mainly focused on the season, but we we're looking at venues and stuff like that, and going home after graduation, interning with my cousin at his gym next to Stanford, the university. And then I might start working at a like a marketing firm selling lasers and whatnot. And she's finishing up with her degree in communication, so we'll go from there. But right now we're just working on getting our education done, and then we'll do the rest when it comes time. And there's been a speculation about or just reports that everybody thinks you're going to be drafted in the first round of the upcoming draft. How does that? Uh, how does it make you feel? I mean, everybody knows it feels good, but I mean, just being a part of the very few that get to play professional baseball, what do you think about that? Uh, I try not to think about it too much. Obviously, that's every, every kid's dream, so I, I would really enjoy that a lot. But I don't want to don't want to think past this season and and take it for granted. I want to enjoy this and just keep competing and and do as well as I can. What are what are your, uh, I guess, what do you think about the team from this year? And your junior college transfer from California, you, the team last year and the team this year. What are the two differences and how you contribute to the team as a starting pitcher? Well, there's a lot more organization here. The guys on the team really want to win, and they're not about themselves. It's we're all out there together competing and we all have one common goal and it makes it a lot easier when everybody's on the same page because last year we just weren't all there at all all times weren't weren't firing on all cylinders so it's good this year it's a lot more enjoyable to play uh, like i mentioned earlier you're uh, you're leading the, the nation in strikeouts era i mean just being able to have the stamina that we talked about and be able to go long innings and keep your pitches down and Keep your ERA down. I mean, that's just that's great that a 21 year old that can just be just so motivated to stay stay strong and work in the off season. And uh, I mean, how does it make you feel to be just one of the top pitchers in the nation and being here at Campbellsville? Oh, it feels great. I I worked really hard for it. I had a lot of people help me, and I would just pick other pitchers on the team's brains on how they do certain things, talk to all the coaches, and I just tried to, to learn and absorb everything that I could to try and become a more well-rounded athlete. And uh, your major is what? It's sports management. Sports management. Um, and that is, that's something that Campbellsville just, just started the new program here. and You have a 4.0 GPA, I saw. I mean, that's just great being able to play baseball, which is basically when we get here in the fall, from the fall to the winter to the spring, and it's just nonstop every day. Something's going on. And um, tell me about your academics and how how you stay strong in that classroom and on the field. Well, academics are you know important. They're the number one priority. That was one of the first questions I asked when talking to the coaches over the phone before I came here: is what programs they offer, and with my family's support. They've always been behind me, wanting me to excel, and I just feel that I, I'm doing myself justice and my family by pushing, pushing myself to 
be the best student I can be. And uh, the charities that the baseball team is involved with, the uh, Kentucky Heartland Outreach, which uh, they are involved with Campbellsville, the whole university, and uh, the one thing that the baseball focused on this year was the Operation Christmas Child for uh, during the Christmas and the winter season. And, uh, the, just explain on that and tell how much money the baseball team raised and all the things that you contributed to with that. Well, we took the things that we had at home that you know, had value and meaning to us and that we were willing to, to donate. We took all that and we brought it here and we got it in little shoe boxes and decorated it to how we wanted. And we just wanted to make those kids feel how we feel. Like we, we enjoy the little things and it doesn't have to be anything big. It was little trinkets and collectible type things. and. Uh, not sure how much money we've raised this far along, but we'll figure that out when we get near the end of it. Yeah, and the Culver's tournament's coming up here in about two weeks, and Campbellsville is, I think, third in the conference right now, tied for third, and this is the first time they haven't been ahead in the regular season in 10 years. Uh, what is the uh, main focus for the team right now and main focus for you to be a leader on the team? and just lead the team to the conference tournament. What, what, is, what are you going to be doing in the next two weeks to, I guess, have a positive attitude and everything that goes along with that? Well, we're just going to win one game at a time, because that's what it comes down to. We started off hot, and we, we've kind of cooled off, but we're trying to get back on that streak. But it takes one game at a time, and you know, we just we got a good conference, so it's going to be tough, but we can do it. We just all have to stay at a even level of head, headedness. I understand that. Um, well, that's about it. I uh, appreciate you coming and talking with us. And, uh, like, again, All-American candidate, one of the very few here that we've had for baseball at Campbell's University. And so it's a great honor to be able to talk to you. I appreciate you coming. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.